<laughs> I'm just gonna motorboat you. <laughs> hey guys, so today we're continuing our Christmas themed December movie commentaries. So we're gonna re be revisiting um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas or The Grinch. I looked on IMDb and it's called The Grinch and then original title is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So I don't know which title it is but we're gonna be watching that today with Jim Carrey. So this came out in the year 2000 so I was seven. This movie came out 20 years ago. I don't really remember anything from it so it's been a very 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 long time since I've watched it. It's been a while since I've watched like classic Jim Carrey movies so I'm excited to like re-watch this because a lot of people in the comments have been saying that The Grinch is like one of their favorite Christmas movies so I thought why don't we watch it today. I wanted to go for Christmas like green and like red or maroney like and this is a forest green but I don't even think you guys can tell that my jacket is like got green and maroon. Maroon. Maroon? Maroon. Do people say maroon or maroon? So anyways, I guess let's just watch some Jim Carrey. I'm really excited to watch it because I like his humour from like the 90s, 2000s. Well, at least from what I remember. They're like classics and I don't know if I still find the humour funny now because it's been like decades since I've really watched any of his films. So I don't know what my like adult sort of interpretation of this movie will be. Okay well I guess let's just jump straight into this third Christmas movie of the month. Shit we're already far into December. Do you find that insane that we're already at the end of 2020? Oh Jesus what happened to the year? I don't even want to think about 2020. Let's just go into the new year being positive. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to be positive t at times, but um, I don't know, maybe watching The Grinch will make us feel a little better today. Inside a snowflake, like the one on your sleeve, there happened a story you must see to believe. Oh yeah, Ron Howard directed this, didn't he? I haven't really seen many films by him, I don't think. I feel like there's a lot of directors that have done movies but like you don't realize it's their movie until you actually look it up. Can I already say that the production and set design is fucking amazing? Can I already put that out there? Wow. Anthony Hopkins is the narrator? Every St. Fizzin's day they ate a fizz pheasant but every who knew. I recognize the voice. Oh Anthony Hopkins. You always gotta have like iconic voice actors doing narrating or you've got to have someone who's a good voice actor because you don't you don't want a shitty voice doing voiceover and narrating a whole entire movie Merry Christmas friends, oh, excuse hi. me Hello. Shiny Lou, honey Dad? Yeah? Doesn't this seem like a bit much? I can't believe Jenny from Gossip Girl <laughs> is Cindy Lou I love Gossip Girl, well I haven't finished the entire series but I very much did enjoy it when I was younger and I can't believe Jenny is Cindy Lou. I don't really know what happened to her. Does anyone know what happened to Taylor Mons Monson? I don't know what happened to her. Well done, Max. We got another cute dog sidekick. This movie is already amazing when you have a sidekick that's an animal that's cute. It like automatically, automatically the movie is amazing. Wow. Oh my god that smile. Uh, uh, I swear the hair and makeup like I'm telling you 20 years later it holds up so well. Boy nothing beats Christmas right? I guess. <laughs> I'm Cindy Lou. <laughs> I'm like eh. Someone just say Grinch. Hello, Mayor May, who, sir. Other than Cindy Lou, can people breathe through their noses with the prosthetics all, all, all on, up on their face? I feel like maybe they're gonna suffocate. They can breathe through their mouth. Those eyebrows are out of control, mate. Now it's yours, and this is hers, and now it's his. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm gonna turn into literally the Grinch. I feel like I'm gonna be the Grinch the entire movie. <sighs> 
and I don't want to be in a negative mood today. I want to be happy. I want to be happy watching this and I feel like I'm going to be just like frustrated watching it because I agree with like everything he says. Are you Tony Collette? Are you Tony Collette in Hereditary? Are you? Max, pick out a bow! Can I use your finger for a second? It sounds so wrong. I swear her head would be in pain this entire time, right? It's just like sitting on top of her head the entire time. People must be in such pain throughout this entire production. Literally every day, every day. It must take so long. Like all the extras. Oh, I couldn't. You have to have like major patience. I love her outfit. Oh my God, like the gloves, the waist, the like, the skirt going out. I love that look. Her boots, tights, yes. Yes, look at that. Amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, I like that wipe transition. I love that wipe transition. That looks so good. Max's ears are so long. His ears are so long. A dog's ears meant to be that long? That's a... They're super long. Look at those ears. What breed is Max? I don't know what breed he is. Down the size of the hat! And this time, I'll keep it off. Fourth wall break. Yes, fourth wall break. Who doesn't love a good fourth wall break? I wonder what that's made out of. Like, what he's... Eating. Ew! Oh, putting the hair in your mouth. I don't know why I ever leave this place. I've got all the company I need. I swear, I like wouldn't even leave that place. Oh my god, that dress is so cute. The like collar and the puffiness of the, the skirt. So adorable. Oh, Cindy, she's so cute. Hey honey, our baby's here! He looks just like your boss. So that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, is that way of <gasps> Oh my god, I just... I, oh my god, I just realized something. So Cindy's like, oh, so that's how it happens. As in, that's how people have kids. And she's like, yes. They like fall at the front of your door. And the dad, the guy who came out the door is like, it looks like your boss. Meaning that the wife had an affair with her boss. That is the most subtle joke I think I have ever heard, like, that I have to actually think about. We were having our annual holiday get-together. Is that Smash Mouth? Is that Smash Mouth? Oh my god, they're having a party and people are putting their keys in the bowl. Is this a- is this a swingers party? Is this a swi- <laughs> is, is this a swingers party? That's what they're called, right? Where people put their keys in? Um... <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, I need to check if that's Smash Mouth. Oh, bloody fucking ads. Of course. Of course there's ads. Maybe not. I don't know, but it sounds like Smash Mouth. Oh! Santa, bye bye. <gasps> Santa, go bye bye. Santa, bye bye. I just love the colors the red and the green. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. No, don't do it. Oh. When I was, oh, was I eight, nine or 10 around there? Obviously I was younger, had hair here. I got my mum's razor, her shaver, and tried to do that and cut into my left eyebrow. Like a whole chunk of my eyebrow came out. Don't <laughs> use shavers <laughs> when you don't know how to use them. And if you're a little kid, don't do that. Oh. You'll have major regrets and it'll be so embarrassing until it grows back. <laughs> Not creepy. Not really that creepy. Look at that hack job! <laughs> I'm sorry, but that teacher is a bitch. 
laughing at her own kids. Fuck off. When they were so cruel to him. And I could hardly bear it. Aw, Martha May. Aw, that's sad. I hate Christmas! I hate it! I hate it too. I've said in the past, um, like talking about Dutch angles and when like the camera is on an angle. I think this movie fits it perfectly. It comes up in a lot of my videos when I talk about camera composition. I just think it totally, work, totally works for this movie. Like it just makes sense. I think in regards to the style and design and the vibe that the film is trying to give across, it just like makes sense to have Dutch angles. Max, fetch me my sedative. Max, I need my drugs. Give me all the drugs. Some of these outfits I would just bloody wear in real life. They are amazing. Some of these dresses, coats, everything. So extravagant. <laughs> so extra. The Grinch will never come down. And when he doesn't, the mayor will wear the crown. It's gonna ruin your hair, mate. You don't wanna wear the crown. It's gonna ruin that perfectly curled, curled hair. Perfect. You're in the holiday spirit. Not <laughs> Oh, Max. Hello. <laughs> Jim Carrey is like one of the most iconic people that totally embodies like everything in regards to like his mannerisms like it's a whole full body character the amount of personality ah oh, I just I love his commitment to the character he's one of the most animated people ever this is like peak Jim Carrey <gasps> Um, maybe you need a time out. Time out. Time out. Kids today. So desensitized by movies and television. Oh my god, that's so true. <laughs> Cindy Lou's laugh is so adorable. It's one of the most adorable things I've ever heard. Sicko! The Gata! The Gata! The Gata! <laughs> Very stylish. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'll go. But I'll be fashionably late. No, yes, no, yes. Yes, fashionably late. Don't ever turn up to a party on time. I'm always a fashionably late person. <laughs> I feel too awkward if I'm like the first person there. <laughs> A man for whom Christmas comes not once a year, but every minute of every day. Oh my god, her eyes. Her eyeball went that way and one went th the other way. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Hello, Martha. What a warm welcome right into her tits. <laughs> I'm just going to motorboat you. <laughs> Are you two still living? <laughs> ho 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 You'll put your taste buds to the test as you judge the who pudding cookbook I'd love it if he's just like Ugh. just like spewed on someone. Blah. Blah. Oh my god, he's still going. Move out of the fucking way. I said there's no check. And now it's time for present pass it on. <gasps> the gift. Shave off his fucking hair. Shave off the mayor's fucking hair. Shave it off, you motherfucker. Piece of shit. What a ring. Oh my god, that ring. Holy shit. That is insane. <sighs> Mistletoe. 
Now pucker up and kiss it, Hubel! <gasps> yes! He shaved his head! Fabulous! Fabulous! Burn, baby! Burn! Burn, baby, burn. Burn. Running away from fire in slow mo. <laughs> Classic. But you and your your family, I'm so so disappointed. Fuck you! How can you blame her and her family? That makes no sense. He it made her fucking cry. What a ah, he's an asshole. Then who's young and old would sit down to a feast? And they'll feast, and they'll feast. Yeah, it's all about the food. It's not about the gifts. It's not about Christmas. It's about the food. The food is the most important part of Christmas. <laughs> I only go to Christmas parties because of food. <laughs> is Max having a party? Yes, Max. Oh my God, Max. Oh my God, he's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, his little beard! His beard, his snow beard. <laughs> oh, I love that fisheye lens. Oh my god, the fisheye lens. That looks awesome. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Ow is right. Forgot about the reindeer. Oh my god, is he gonna put a little reindeer thing on Max's head? Is he gonna put little reindeer um antlers on his head, on Max's head? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. Your name is Rudolph. You're a freak with a red nose and nobody likes you. <laughs> that feels good. What, the vibration on your butt? The vibration on his butt? That is some serious DIY. <gasps> Max! Where did Max go? Where is he attached? How, how did Max get back on the... Was he attached by something? Ciao time. Oh, moths. Moths, I hate moths. No, not moths. Ugh, gross, gross moths. Ew. Why that Grinch? He even took their last can of who hash. Who hash? Hash? Did he take their hash? Don't think so, mate. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, I can't listen to that. Oh. No. Silly. Is he gonna kiss him? Oh, he's gonna kiss the dog. He's gonna kiss Max. Oh. Max is scarred for life. Oh. I really like that shot and I don't know the cause of liking that shot, but I thought that looked so pretty. That wasn't so bad, was it, Max? I'm stuffed. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm tired. I'm puffed out. Oh my god, that gown. Gown? Robe? The blue and all the white lining and fur. Ah. Oh. You choose to listen to a little not to be taken seriously, girl. Oh, a girl? Why accentuate the girl part? Cindy, I hope you're very proud of what you've done. Be a good dad. Stand up for C uh, Cindy Lou. If she isn't, I am. Yes. Because it isn't about the, the gifts or the contests or the fancy lights. This is a child. So? She's my child. Oh yeah, fuck you mate. <laughs> don't you talk about my little girl like that. Well, I don't need anything more for Christmas than this right here. My family. We wasted all of our money. So much of our money is just gone down the, down the drain. A lot of money's just gone bye bye on presents, but learnt a lesson, I guess. <laughs> my heart. Doo -doom. Doo -doom. All the feels. He's feeling all the feels. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
cute. Oh, Mac. Give me a hug, Max. I love ya. Give me all the hugs. Oh, <laughs> Lick the tears off my face. They'll be destroyed. And I care! What is the deal? What is the deal? I can't deal. What is the deal? Oh, where's Cindy Lou? Cindy Lou, forgot about Cindy Lou. Isn't she there somewhere? Hi, Mr. Grinch! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Cindy Lou! What are you doing up there? <laughs> Aww. Aww. He must do some major squats. His legs are so strong. The amount of squats he must do. <laughs> that looks so fun. That looks so fun. Oh, that, that looks not so fun. Are you kidding? The sun is bright and the powder's bitching. The powder's bitching. The powder's bitching. Bitching. Merry Christmas one and all! I'm the Grinch that stole Christmas. And I'm... Sorry. Oh. Merry Christmas, August Mayhu. I'm afraid I do have something for you. She's gonna give the ring back. <laughs> oh my god. She's like, yes, look at my <laughs> my boobs. I'm getting mid smart vibes. <laughs> Where they're doing the mer uh, the ring around the rosy. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Midsummer. Me trying to make up lyrics to songs because I don't know what the lyrics are. Wow, what a party. Look at all the food. Look at all that food. Yum. Yep. Just everyone swaying back and forth. Is that it? Yay. Amazing. This movie put me in such a happy mood. Like, starting out this film, I was like, oh, I feel so down. Like, I, I don't want to watch this because the Grinch is making me feel really negative. But, like, the ending made me so happy and just, like, it's so cute and, like, awe-worthy. Like, oh, Like, it's adorable. I think Cindy Lou makes it even more cute. Max makes it even more cute. I just like the ending and the outcome of the movie is so just satisfying and sweet. This is a film that will put you in a happy mood if you feel cynical, which is what I do a lot of the time. This is a movie that you can put on that will make you happy because it talks about consumerism and gifts and presents and money and greed and all of that side of things. But the message is Again, like all Christmas movies, is that family is most important. And that that definitely hits hits in this movie. I love the style and aesthetic of this film. So like the original source material is very cartoony, obviously. And I just love that vibe that is translated um, visually in this movie. It looks so good. The transitions, the way it's shot, um, the visual and sound effects, just everything just comes, to get, comes together so perfectly. It feels just like such a complete and whole movie that is just, I don't know, satisfying to watch in the end. I like going back to old films that I loved when I was a kid. There are so many 90s films that are just so nostalgic for me that I haven't seen in forever. Okay, well, let me know your thoughts on The Grinch, how, this, how The Grinch Stole Christmas, if this is a favorite of yours. Um, I know it probably isn't for everyone. Not every movie is for everyone, obviously. But yeah, give me your thoughts on the film. Uh, if this is something that you watch every Christmas, what you do for Christmas, um, are you a Grinch? Are you not a Grinch? I'm like half half. I think that these Christmas movies are like making me less Grinchy. <laughs> so I guess that's a good thing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later.